What's up, people? Uh, we're back, and here we are at Cuyahoga National Park in Ohio. Ohio! Who knew who Ohio had a national park? We actually found it on the road, and it's beautiful fall land, but here we are. And we're actually not telling you about this Ohio State Park, As but usual. we are going to be telling you about Olympic, Olympic national, national Park. park. I loved Olympic National Park and actually my parents joined us for some of the time so if you see some other friends mixed in that would be them. Um, but as usual we're going to be giving you our top five things that we got to do in Olympic National Park starting with number five. Number five, the Soul Duck Hot Springs. All right, so we walk into the Soul Duck, we pay $18 per person. We imagine, right, imagine you're in a national park and you're thinking this is going to be like this really cool natural piece of land with like water just you know? bringing up from it. Uh, but we get there and it's this glorified hot tub as Rachel keeps talking about it. And it's there's cement and it's, uh, you know, temperature controlled and whatnot. And but it smells bad. And it smells like sulfur, which if you don't know what sulfur smells like, it smells like boiled eggs when they smell bad. The best part though, which I didn't think I'd actually do this, they have a cold pool where you would go from the hot springs, 94 to 104 degrees, and you would dunk yourself into the cold pool. And uh, it actually felt incredibly refreshing and very great. So I have some fun. friends that do the ice bath thing and I've always judged them because I was like, you're crazy. But I it was not an ice bath. It wasn't an ice bath, but it was, yeah, 50 degree water. <laughs> anyway. So that's our number five. All right, number four, the waterfalls. So we got to see two different waterfalls, and let's be honest, we couldn't actually rank them separately because they kind of felt similar, but they were beautiful. So we went and saw the Solduck Falls, which is right next to where the hot springs are. And, and also right across from where our campsite, campsite was. was. Nifty. And we also went and saw the Maramere Falls. And so these are beautiful waterfalls, but honestly, half the fun of getting to the waterfalls is going through the trees. The trees are beautiful. So it's a rainforest. And they're like, I like to say these trees had sleeves because they were just like covered in moss, but it was just really pretty. But you know, it was, it was beautiful. So we love walking through great like waterfalls to go see, easy hikes. None of them were really hard, neither of them had a lot of elevation, but really beautiful. So for sure, number four, we would say the Miramir Mir Falls and the Soul Duck Falls. Number, number three, three is Mount Angeles. Uh, our favorite. So I, so okay, this was a very interesting day. Kika turned 30 while we were in Olympic National Park and on his birthday, we decided to do a hike. Now let's just say we didn't really like hit any hikes that we had trouble with. Like, I don't know, we're like, okay, it's not like we're the most fit people in the world, but we can handle hikes. And so, well, let's just say we weren't prepared for this one. So Mount Angeles, first of all, Kika kept yelling at me that I was taking a wrong turn. This was a very interesting day for us. Um, I did not take a wrong turn, but literally you're on, um, um, out on this beautiful spot overlooking all the mountains, you turn left and you just go up. So we just literally walked up this dirt path, up this giant mountain. He was like, we went the wrong way, we went the wrong way. And I was like, this is not the wrong way. You keep walking up and then all of a sudden you get to the point where it's just a giant rock and then you're just rock climbing, which like for some people they're ready for. It was also a really cloudy day and so you couldn't even see. It was super windy and it was just, it was a lot. So. Here we are, rock climbing to the top. We think we're about to die, and Kika's client is, I'm 30, I can't start my 30th birthday by quitting. So we got to the top, and then I said, let's go right back down. So interesting, it was beautiful. If you're into that, please do it. If you are not, I would maybe not recommend doing that hike, but we still enjoyed it. Kika has lots of sermon illustrations for later in life, um, but it was a great old time. So Mount Angeles. Not gonna lie. I was terrified. I thought Rachel was gonna die. I thought I could have died, but uh, but we did make it. Mount Angeles, you know, it was an adventure. You gotta have some of those adventures. But it still made it because it was still cool. You just know what you're getting into. Yeah. It was a little under seven miles, but it was a ton of elevation, so it took us longer than our usual seven mile trip. Yep. But crazy and cool and exciting and a memory to hold on to forever because <laughs> we survived. That was our number three. Okay, number two. Um, number two was the Ozette Triangle. So here's the thing. Um, Olympic is huge, which honestly is a little overwhelming because you can drive for hours and still not see the entire park. Mm -hmm. But that means that there are rainforests. That also means that there are oceans. So the Ozette Triangle is actually a combination of 
three different trails. And so basically you walk through the woods, you walk along the beach, and then you go back in through the woods. And so it was a beautiful time on the beach. It was a beautiful time in the trees. Walking on the beach for three miles is harder than you think it because is. Because it's not just sand, it was a rocky beach. And so every step you took, you had to make sure you're watching your step and you're not gonna roll your ankle on this little rock or step into this tide pool. We enjoyed our time at Olympic. This makes it sound really sad. No, no, it no, just it was, was awesome. a harder walk. It was yeah. nine miles total. Um, and so we were, we just didn't really think a walk on the beach was, it was not a walk on the beach. But anyway, you get out of the rainforest and out of the rainforest all of a sudden, you're kind of like in Pirates of the Caribbean where it's like you're in the rainforest and then you walk out and immediately you're on the beach. And you see the seals on the beach and you see the sea otters swimming around and playing on the beach. And they were so cute. tide pools in there that you walk through and you see. And we didn't really see too much in the tide pools, but. But we got it. to see seals and sea otters, so that was a really exciting thing. Pretty too. awesome. Um, so that was super fun, but that yes. is definitely our number two. Number two. All right, number one. Best part of Olympic the National best Park. best part of edition. Drum roll, Park. please. Was the Mexican food at the corner <laughs> store. <laughs> so we went here actually on Kika's birthday, and it was the best. I was really not expecting great Mexican food in Washington. It was fantastic. The lady who owned the place was super sweet. Literally, Kika just was like, give me your three or four favorite things. She brought out this food. It was magical. She also gave us giant things of horchata. I always say it wrong. It was so good, but we loved it. So like serious, but not serious, but it is serious. It's that was our favorite thing of Olympic National Park because the food was so good. We usually talk about food not being good. That was good food. That was the best Mexican food I had ever eaten in my entire life. Wow. I don't remember what it was called, but there's like a red taco. Oh, so just good. so good. It's like a deep fried, I think it's a deep fried taco. Just make sure to go ask for that when you get there. So yes, that would be our literal number one. It's called the Corner Store in um, Port Angeles is Corner where store. it was. So it's right outside of Olympic National Park. But Olympic was really cool. It was really fun that my parents got to join us. Again, it's just big. That was my only problem with Olympic is that you just felt like you couldn't see everything and it was overwhelming because you just had to drive an hour to an hour and a half to get anywhere, which is a lot of them, but. But now at least you have four spots that you can go to plus one restaurant that you can go to there if you end up going there. So, you know, that's pretty good. Just get the Mexican food. That's the really the key, the key part of all of this. Yeah, so it was so incredible. fun. We loved it and uh, we are thankful that you have joined us on this trip. Uh, we've got a bunch more national parks still coming your way. So uh, if you've enjoyed following along on the trip, make sure to subscribe so you know where, uh, when another video comes out and, uh, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Peace.